Hi, it's Chris Betcher here, and I have a little tip for you if you happen to use these things called QR codes or quick response codes. Um, QR codes are these images that contain these black and white blocks, uh, and they're arranged in patterns that can be decoded by using an app on your phone or a tablet, um, and, an, and the app will decode the information that's hidden inside these black and white blocks. So I'd like to show you a couple of tips for how you might make these things really quickly, especially if you make a lot of them. So here we go. So I'm going to start by saying here is a YouTube video. And let's just say I want to take this video and hide the URL or encode the URL, uh, the link, into one of these black and white images so that people can decode it and then play the video on their device. So what you do to start with normally is you'd copy that URL, just Command C, and then you'd go to a service, and there's tons of them on the internet, but just one I've picked here. This is called qrstuff.com. So you can come here. This is a pretty popular one. And you can go down here and paste in that URL. And I should point out, this, have a look at this list on the right-hand side here, this number one data type list. Um, you can encode almost anything into a QR code, so long as it's text-based. So whether it's a, you know, have a look through the list there, YouTube video, Google map location, a Twitter message, an Instagram, a telephone number, you can put almost anything that's text-based into a QR code. So, so, you know, we just happen to use URLs a lot, but you can put anything in there. Um, once you do that in here, you notice that it's generated this image over on the side here, which you can then click this button to download, and then you can either print it out or put it on a website or whatever you want to do with it. And the thing is, sometimes people come up with ideas for using QR codes where uh, they actually have, um, they need to generate lots of QR codes. And coming here and doing it one by one, pasting the URL in, downloading the QR code, pasting the URL, it's time consuming and tedious. So there's got to be a better way. There actually is. Let me show you what it is. This is a list uh, in Google Sheets. Um, and you can see I've got two columns here. Column A is simply a list of URLs. These are all YouTube videos, but like I say, they could be anything. And column B is simply uh, a title or a, a, a label for that video. So this first YouTube video link here points to a video about sending attachments to Drive. Okay, so let's uh, let's just add that last one in there. So that, um, that video we copied before, just paste that in there just like that. And that was about Google Classroom, so we'll just type that in there. Just like that, there you go. So you just simply create your list. And this list can be as long as you like, or as short as you like. Um, once you get the list made, very simple to generate all the QR codes in one hit, let me show you. There is a thing in Google uh, Drive called add-ons. And you can add these special superpowers to the Google apps. So Docs, Sheets, and Forms, they're the only ones that support it at the moment. So I'm gonna go to add-ons here. And you can see I've actually already installed this. It's called QR Code Generator. But if you don't see it here, you can come down to Get Add-ons. You can actually browse for it. Just search for QR Code Generator, and you can install it, and you'll find it will go into your list here. So I'm going to start running this by pressing the Start button. And you notice this panel opens up on the right-hand side of the screen. And what this will let you do is generate the, UR, uh, generate the QR codes for all those URLs in one hit. So just step you through here, have a look. You can go different sizes from tiny all the way up to extra large. And it's got the pixels dimensions there. You can also save it as a document, or you could untick that and save it as a PNG. A PNG is a type of image file. And in general, if you wanted uh, to create these QR codes to print, you do it as a document, and then you just simply print it and cut them out with scissors. Or if you wanted to put these QR codes on a website or a blog or a wiki somewhere, you could save it as a PNG, and then you'd have the actual image file. And of course, you can do both if you want. You can tick both boxes if you'd really like to. Um, if you decide to do it as a document, you have the option to put a border around it. I generally don't worry about that, but you can have it. Um, and what's really important here is if you say use the second column, if you don't tick this, then all you'll get is the QR codes, and they all look the same to the human eye, so it's a bit hard to tell what's what. So uh, that's why you have this column B, and column B acts as the labels underneath each one, so you know what they are. Um, so I'm going to say use second column, uh, and I'll just grab column A and column B, so I've highlighted both columns. So when I run this by clicking the generate button, it will work on both columns and use the second column to be the labels. And just before I press this button, I just want to explain one thing here. There's one last option here that says shorten URL. 
And a short URL, you guys know what that is. You can have a long, very long URL, or you can use a shortening service like Bitly or Google, or um, you know, it's a bunch of them around that will shorten the URL. Why would you bother shortening the URL? Let me just show you before I run this. Have a look at this page of QR codes that I started with. You'll notice some of them are very blocky, like this um, this one, this first couple here, quite blocky. But if you look at the one uh, third row down, you'll notice it's very fine. It's got more smaller blocks in it. And the reason is that that particular URL, um, that sorry, that QR there, actually had a longer piece of text. And these blocks literally translate to uh, to encode the text that they are um, hiding inside them. So if you have a longer piece of text, it requires more blocks. If you have a shorter piece of text, it requires less blocks. So if you can make a URL shorter, you end up with uh, bigger blocks in the QR code. And that often makes it easier for the QR coder to read. So just something to bear in mind. I've turned all the options on that I want. Then I click the Generate button. And what it's doing now, it says Validating Input Data. Uh, it's just checking to make sure it's OK. And then it will, as you can see, it's chugging away there. And it will process all of those codes. And there you go. We're now done. And you can see I have a button here that says Open Document and Open Folder. The Open Document link will take you to the document because you tick this option. The Open Folder link will take you to the folder full of images because you tick this option. If you only tick one or either of the two options instead of both, you'll only get one option down here. So that's what that's about. So if I click on the Open Document now, you'll see. And each of those QR codes represents the URL for that video hidden inside. And although they all look a bit the same to the human eye, but if you look carefully at them, you'll see they are actually all different. And if I just go back here and show you, if I open the folder, that actually takes me into my Google Drive. And this folder will actually contain all of the QR code images. And there you go. So, and you can just take those, open them in Drive, download them to your computer, do whatever you want with them. But they are actual uh, PNG images. So I hope that helps. Thanks, Jenny, for asking the question. Um, it's a great little tool. I really like it for anyone who generates a lot of QR codes. Super simple way to do it. Just collect them in a sheet and then run the script and you're done.